all in all, it's a compelling idea. I'm just not sure how well it's going to Hi, everyone. Welcome to my permaculture project. My name is Brian. Um, I am a goat and sheep farmer, along with many other things. I have a small uh, nursery and I have, um, you know, an extensive garden, things like that. Um, but currently, the main product that we sell is goat uh, meat and lamb meat. We have a monthly subscription where we sell um, by the pound. We farm on a pretty small acreage, so we have to make the best use of the land as, uh, that we can, try and maximize um, our land use as best we can. And in our neck of the woods, this is coastal California, um, the uh, summers are very dry. And basically the last green material uh, kind of dries up and turns brown in May. And so from May through November, December, there's pretty much nothing green um, anywhere in sight except for trees. And uh, that means that you miss out on a ton of photosynthetic potential, right? I mean, if you, if you look at the field behind me, you know, it's not a huge field, but it's definitely large enough to be quite useful. And basically right now, this field is all sitting um, unproductive. It's the peak of the summer. We're literally just a couple weeks away from the summer solstice. And there's literally minimal photosynthetic uh, activity that's happening in this field right now. And that's because our native grasses all dry up by May. And so all those productive months in the summer, June, July, August, September, all those productive months, uh, there's nothing growing here. So if we're trying to maximize our land, it makes sense for us to focus on uh, something that's gonna actually grow over the summer. And if you look behind me here in these beautiful hills, um, what's productive back there is all the trees. Now, those are uh, coast live oaks and those are not a highly productive tree. They grow slowly um, and, you know, the forage quality is, it, it, it's not a great forage tree. So I have planted um, paulonia trees. I grew a whole bunch of paulonia trees from seed uh, starting back in January of this year. I've also purchased paulonia clones uh, from a forestry company, the World Paulonia Institute. They do paulonia forestry. Um, and so I've planted a um, bunch of paulonia trees out on our property, and those are meant to be a long-term um, protein source for our animals to make use of these very productive summer days where we have lots of uh, sunshine and uh, you know try and maximize the amount of calories that we can produce on our property. So let me show you the paulonia trees here real quick. So these are the paulonia trees. These are the ones I grew from seed. You may have seen um, another video that I did talking about growing paulonia from seed. I also have some paulonia clones that I bought from the World Paulonia Institute. And so I've planted these along here. I planted them somewhat densely because I knew there would be losses. Um, and then I've got this nice drip tape all along here to provide them water and I'll also be fertilizing through the dip, drip tape as well. It's been a couple of weeks since I planted these, but they have established themselves um, and they're starting to put on some decent new growth. Um, Paulonia, as you may have seen in my other videos, is known to be a very fast grower. And so even though they're small right now, I'm hoping that um, by the end of the summer, they'll have put on a couple of feet worth of growth. This is the setup that I have. I've got these uh, T-posts that I drove in, all this electrical uh, poly wire that I've put up and I have a charger that you'll see later in the video. And um, I basically just set up this corridor here and you can see it starts right over here, starts there. I've got the paulonia trees right down the middle and then comes over here and then the corridor ends at that side there. And I'm not entirely sure how well this is gonna work. It's a bit of an experiment, but I just thought I would share this with you and let you know how I'm hoping to keep the goats out uh, while I grow these trees. And we'll see how it works. Um, I'm not super optimistic that it's gonna work, but I think if I can train the goats and get them to, to where when they see this white poly wire, 
that they just respect it and just don't want to go near it, then I'm hoping that it's going to be, um, you know, safe for me to have the animals here with um, the Paulonia trees in the pasture. If I can't do it this way, I'm really at a loss on how I can do this because setting up permanent fencing just for a corridor like this is extremely expensive and it kind of defeats the purpose of putting trees out, right? I'm, I'm putting trees here to try and save on feed cost, but if it costs so much to install a fence, a permanent fence to protect the trees, then it may be not even worth my while to do that. So this is very, very inexpensive. And all this is also highly portable and reusable. So I can take all these components off and I can move them to some other part of the field. Uh, and so that's kind of the vision that I have is that, um, you know, this corridor here will basically be kind of a temporary um, thing while the trees are getting established. And then later on, I can take all these fittings and everything and use them elsewhere on the farm. And like I said, completely portable, very inexpensive, quick and easy to set up, um, very pain-free uh, to set all this up. It's basically just, you know, very minimal physical effort. It's not like string and fencing and stuff where you're on the tractor and you're slinging bales of wire that weigh hundreds of pounds and everything. This stuff is all super light and very, very easy to work with. So um, all this is the charger. This is a two mile charger. Um, when it's fully charged, it's close to 8,000 volts. Not sure how many joules. And then I've got the positive comes up and I run it along this little outbuilding that we have and then along that fence way over here and then you can see the positive cable here runs all the way out to that post and from that post it goes down to the actual electrical fence itself and all it's a compelling idea I'm just not sure how well it's gonna work so I will keep you posted on how well it's working and we'll continue the discussion going forward. Hope all is well. Good luck on all your projects.